We continue now at the top of Daf Mem Ches Amid Beis Masech Shabbos. This is Shabbos Daf Forty Eight B. The Gemara just finished quoting Rav. That Rav said that when a person opens up the uh, the collar area uh, to create a shirt, essentially, he's chayav achatos on Shabbos. It's considered tikkun mona. So the Gemara now asks, Ma bein zul and megufas chavis? What's the difference between this and opening the cork on top of a barrel, which uh, which is permissible? Rashi here says. Maybe Adam Chavis, a person can bring a barrel, Umat is his Rosh Basai, if you could take a, a sword and open up the top, and put it in front of the guests. So why is that uh, why is that okay? Amar Le Rava, so Rava said to him, Eno Chibor. In one case it's considered attached, when you're talking about a beged, that's all one piece, you're really opening up and creating a new thing. But in this case of the barrel, when you have a cork on top of a barrel, those are two separate components of the barrel. It's not considered one item, it's not considered attached, and you're allowed to open it up on Shabbos. Rami lay Rabbi Yirmiya or Rabbi Zeira. Rabbi Yirmiya asked the following contradictions, Rabbi Zeira. Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah. Shalal shal kuvsin, v'shal shal shal maftechus, v'habeged shu tofer bekilayim. So Rashi explains what these things are. Rashi says, Shlal shal kufsim, darkum lishlo habagodim ze im ze, ketanim imagadolim kadeshalo yovedu. So when they used to wash the clothing, they would sew together or tie together the various garments one next to the other, the small ones or the big ones, in order that they wouldn't become lost. Uh, the other case that Rashi or Skip seems to be some kind of chain holding together keys, a similar case. And then Rashi explains, Ubege chetafru bekilayim, when you have a piece of clothing that's sewn with kilayim. Rashi explains, Vein shtei chatichos shal beget semer, they're both wool, shetavru bechut shal pishton, and you sew them together, or you stitch them together with some uh, linen. Devadai sofu li karo li parid zemizeh, you're certainly planning on separating it, mishom isr kilayim, because of kilayim, vechein shalal shal kuvzin, sofu li parid, when it comes also to the, uh, to the linen that you're washing, you're going to separate it. Afilu hachi, nevertheless, chibur le tumah, it's considered attached for tumah purposes. Vim nitmazeh, nitmazeh. The idea here is that if tumah touches one of the items, they're all considered attached, and the other one is tummy as well. So that's what the Mishnah here says. And uh, Rabbi Yirmiya makes the following diuk. Alma we see, uh, sorry, so it says over here, chibur le tumah ad sheyaschil lahatir. In all these cases, it's considered attached for Tumma until it begins to become undone. Once you start untying it, it's not considered one begot. So, Rabbi Yirmiya's Medayik, Alma Shalom B'Shas Malacha Nami Chibor. You see that even when it's not at the time where you're doing the work, where you're washing the clothing, as long as they're attached in this fashion, it's going to be considered an attachment. Or a minute, but I have a contradiction. It says, Makil Sha'asa Yad Lekardom. Let's say a person took a wooden handle to make it the handle of an axe. Chibor uh, letuma b'shas melacha. It says that it's considered an attachment for tuma only while you're doing the work with the kardom with the x. B'shas melacha in shalom b'shas melacha lo. It's only considered attached at the time of the melacha, not when it's not the time of the melacha. Seems to be an explicit contradiction. So Amar Le, so Rabbi Amar Le, so Rabbi Zayra said back to him, Hasam shalom b'shas melacha. Over there, when it's not the time for doing work, Adam asli lezarko lebeinah eitzim. It's normal for a person to take the wood and throw it amongst the other wood. So he's planning on discarding it. But over here, in the case of the clothing, even when you're not in the time of the malacha, when you finished washing it, it's still good that it should be attached. That if it by some chance should become dirty, we could wash it again. So essentially, uh, Rabbi Zer was answering that even in the case of the linen, in the case of the garments, when, when the, while they're attached, even if you're not doing malacha, you still have some benefit from them being attached, and therefore it is considered a chibor when it comes to tuma. The following sugi and surah they used to teach it in the name of Rav Chista. The Pumadisa Masnu Mishmeder of Kahana Vamri Lo Mishmeder Rav. And Pumadisa they used to teach it in the name of Rav Kahana, and some people say they taught it in the name of Rav. And the sugi goes as follows: Man Tana Ham Milsa the Amar Rabban and Kalan the Chubra Lo Harei Kamo. Who is the author? Who is the Tana that says that any time you have two items which are attached, it has the same halacha? It's considered one unit for uh, regarding tuma purposes. Amar Rav Yudah Marav, so Rav Yudah said the name of Rav, Rabbi Meir, he the author, that Tana is Rabbi Meir. The Tanan, because we learned in the Mishnah, Beis HaPach, Beis HaTavlin, Beis HaNer, Shebikira. This is talking about in an oven, they used to have certain areas uh, where they would place things. So the Pach refers to the fact they used to put in some oil into this container to warm it up. The Tavlin, they used to put in some spices, and they used to have an area where you could put uh, a candle. So Metamen B'Magavein Metamen B'Avir. 
It's considered attached that it should become tummy if there's touching of tumma. So let's say tumma touches one part of the oven, the whole thing, including the base apach and the base atavlin and the base on air are going to be tummy. But it's not considered tummy if if uh, tumma just goes in the airspace. Divir Rabbi Meir, that's the opinion of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Shimon Mitar, Rabbi Shimon says tar. So already we see Rabbi Meir says there's some kind of connection when it comes to tumma. But the Gemara wants to understand the logic of Rabbi Meir. Bishlam Rabbi Shimon. I understand according to Rabbi Shimon, Kasavar Lav Kikiradamu. He has a simple shita. He says these areas, the Beis Apach, the Beis Atavlin, etc., are considered not part of the Kira. El Rabbi Meir, but according to Rabbi Meir, Ika Kiradamu, if it's considered a Kira, Afilu Bavir Nami Litzmu. Even in Avir there should be Tumma. Ilav Kikiradamu, if it's not part of the Kira, Afilu Bamaga Nami Litzmu. Even in Maga it shouldn't be Tumma. Why is he making, making a distinction between Maga and Avir? So the Gemara says, Leolam lav kikira damu. Well, really, it's not part of the kira. For Rabbanon who the Gazrabu, and the Rabbanon made a gezerah on the base apach and the base atav and etc. They made just it's just a gezerah mid Rabbanon that should be tummy that it should be one unit. So the Gemara asks, I Gazrabu, if they're making a gezerah, Afilu b'avir nami litzmum. Why not make a gezerah even by avir? Why not say tummy even by avir? So the Gemara answers, Of du b'hu Rabbanon hakira. The Rabbanon wanted to make a distinction. I uh, wanted to make it recognizable. So you shouldn't come to burn on this kind of tumma, truma, and kachim. In other words, if it's if it's only tummy at the rabbanon level, and let's say truma or kachim touches this item, that's it's not really tummy. You're not supposed to be burning the truma and kachim for that. So we want to make sure that it's clear to people that it's only me the rabbanon. So we say that it's only attached on a rabbanon level for maga and not for the avir. The Gemara now continues. Tan rabbanon. We learned in a brayso. Mesporas shall prokim. Let's say you have scissors which are two components that are placed together, two separate uh, individual blades that are put together. Vizemel shall hitani, or you have the, this is called a carpenter's plane. Again, it's a piece of metal that's attached to a piece of wood. Chibor latoma ve'en chibor laza. These items are considered attached, they're considered one unit when it comes to becoming tame. But when you're purifying it, you're not, you're, you don't consider it one unit. You have to purify, you have to do haza on each one separately. So the Gemara says, what are you talking about? Uh, either way you look at it, that doesn't make sense. If it's considered attached, then even when you're purifying it, it should be considered one unit. And if it's not considered attached, even for Tama also, it should not become Tame as one unit. So Amar Rava Rava says this is similar to what we said before. Dvar Torah, when it comes down to a Doraisa level, when it is during the time you're doing Malach, it's considered attached for all purposes. And when you're not doing work, it's not considered attached for any purpose. And as the Gemara will explain, and we'll continue on Daf Mem Tesam and Aleph, the Rabban are the ones that are making these distinctions, and we'll see that in the next video.